Have you heard about 3i slash Atlas? It's an interstellar object currently speeding through our solar system, and it's causing quite a stir among astronomers, astrophysicists, and, yes, even those who are fascinated by the possibility of alien technology. We've touched on this a few months ago, but the more we observe, the stranger it becomes. And today, I want to break down everything that makes this object so unusual, and why it might be more intriguing than anything we've ever seen. Let's start with the basics. 3. I slash Atlas was discovered on July 1st by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. Now you might have wondered why it's called 3i. Some people jokingly say it's because it has three eyes. But the truth is a bit more scientific and a lot cooler. 3. I stands for the third interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system. That's right. Only three interstellar objects have been observed so far. And 3i slash Atlas is not like anything astronomers have seen before. Astrophysicists are confident it doesn't originate from inside our solar system. They can calculate its trajectory, and it's clearly not gravitationally bound to the Sun. Some might ask, could it have come from the Oort cloud? That's the vast, roughly spherical shell of icy objects surrounding our solar system. Occasionally, an object from the Oort cloud gets nudged into the inner solar system, becoming a comet. But here's the catch. Oort cloud objects have very low initial velocities, and 3i slash Atlas does not fit that pattern. Its speed, trajectory, and behavior suggest it came from far beyond our solar neighborhood. So, what exactly is it? Most astrophysicists currently classify it as a comet, a body mostly made of ice that evaporates when it approaches the sun creating the glowing tails we typically associate with comets. But even if it's a comet, it's a very strange one. A recent study on Archive, which is a repository for preprint scientific papers, revealed some truly astonishing findings. 3i slash Atlas is shedding nickel and iron at a rate researchers describe as exceptional. That's unusual because comets typically release water vapor, dust, and some volatile compounds, but not metals in these quantities. It also emits carbon dioxide and water in a ratio that researchers call unusual. Some scientists even speculate cautiously that such a chemical signature could fit what you might expect from exhaust or propulsion systems. Now, hold on. Before anyone jumps to conclusions, this is purely theoretical, but it's hard not to notice just how atypical this object is. And there's more. Another recent study noted that 3i slash Atlas alters the polarization of light in a way unprecedented for both asteroids and comets. Think about that for a second. Light behaves differently when passing through or reflecting off this object than it does with anything we've previously catalogued. That's a huge red flag in astrophysics. Whenever something interacts with light in a new way, it immediately attracts attention. Then there's the comet tail. Most comets develop a tail pointing away from the sun due to solar wind pushing on the evaporating gases and dust. But 3i slash Atlas, its tail points towards the sun. Astrophysicists have described this as not common and possibly observed for the first time. That's a remarkable observation, something that defies conventional comet behavior. And if all that wasn't bizarre enough, 3i slash Atlas is following an unusual trajectory. Its path lies almost in the plane of our solar system, coming close to Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. But remarkably, it keeps a safe distance from Earth. It will reach its closest approach to the Sun on October 29th, practically on the opposite side from where we are. And its speed? Let's just say it's moving faster than what you'd expect for an object passing through at this distance. Some enthusiasts have even claimed that 3i slash Atlas doesn't seem to be tumbling like a natural object would, and that it appears to have some self-illumination. These ideas are definitely speculative. Let's put them in the far out there category. But it doesn't stop people from wondering. Even if we stick only to peer-reviewed astrophysical data, the language used in these papers is telling. Words like unusual, exceptional, unprecedented, observed for the first time are sprinkled throughout. How many such anomalies does it take before we start asking serious questions about an object? So, what should we make of 3i slash Atlas? 
To answer that, we need to ask, how unusual is it? Really? Unusual compared to what? The truth is, we've only ever seen three interstellar objects. That's not a lot to build comparisons on. Three. I slash Atlas may be the fastest. Yes, but what does that really mean in context? And its proximity to the planetary plane? Maybe that's just a selection effect. If it were far above or below the plane, we might not have spotted it at all. And about its close passes to Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. If this were a deliberately designed orbit, why avoid Earth, the only planet in the habitable zone? That seems counterintuitive. Are they avoiding us? Or is it just coincidence? Then there's the possibility it's a piece of space debris from somewhere else in the galaxy. Personally, I believe there's a high probability that other intelligent civilizations exist in our Milky Way. If that's true, it's likely they've sent exploratory missions and inevitably left behind tech debris floating in interstellar space. Could 3i slash Atlas be a fragment of such a spacecraft? Unlikely, yes but impossible? Not at all. Let me be clear, we have no evidence that 3i slash Atlas is alien technology. The most plausible explanation remains that it's a comet unlike any we've encountered before. But here's the cautionary point. Scientists are often cautious about making type one errors, which occur when a true hypothesis is rejected. In other words, they might dismiss the possibility of alien tech because the burden of proof is so high. Why does this matter? Type 2 errors, rejecting a false negative, get the lion's share of attention in science. Scientists are trained to avoid claiming a discovery that isn't there, which is wise. But sometimes the consequence of ignoring a potentially true hypothesis, like a piece of alien technology drifting into our solar system, could be monumental. Imagine a scenario where alien tech actually passes through our solar system and we shrug it off as a weird comet. That could be one of the biggest missed opportunities in human history. It's not paranoia, it's just scientific humility mixed with the fear of missing something extraordinary. And the conversations happening around 3i slash Atlas are important. Even the papers describing it use terms like exceptional, unusual, unprecedented. Basically a polite way of saying, we don't know what this is. If we ever observe alien technology, I'm willing to bet the language in the scientific literature will be almost comically understated. Please see supplementary figure 7, they'll say, where we panic quietly. So, what do we take away from all of this? 3i slash Atlas is extraordinary. Its trajectory, its chemical signature, its tail pointing toward the sun, and the way it interacts with light. All of these characteristics challenge our understanding. The most reasonable explanation is a new kind of comet, but we shouldn't dismiss other possibilities too quickly. Science thrives on curiosity, on asking the questions that make you uncomfortable. And right now, 3i slash Atlas is a cosmic puzzle that invites us to do just that. Whether it's a strange comet or a piece of alien technology drifting silently through space, it reminds us that the universe is far more mysterious than we often give it credit for. So, keep watching the skies, keep asking questions, and stay curious. Because every now and then, the universe sends us something that refuses to be ignored. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another deep dive into the extraordinary mysteries of our cosmos.